Okay, so hi pottery peeps, I'm back and we're gonna make a lid today for the honey jar that we um, did the Mishima on yesterday. So you see, I got it all cleaned up and uh, got all the extra black. Looks like it might still need a little wiping. You know how pottery is, um, you know, there's always something. So I'll get to that when it gets like really um, super dry. Okay, so let's make a fun lid for this. You're gonna love it, okay. I gotta put the camera down. Okay, so what you see before you is a little slab. It's about uh, between an eighth and a quarter inch thick. It's, um, for this part, it's better to stay a little bit on the, the thicker side, not too much, but um, we're gonna be stretching the clay a little bit. So uh, you wanna give it some, give it some depth so that we can do that. Okay, so here's our little pot. And um, I have happened to have this, um, um, uh, what do we call it? A cutter that I got at the grocery store. Actually, there's several of them that all uh, went together and I think it's for fondant or cupcakes or something. But um, as we know, everything is a pottery tool. So uh, this is what I'm gonna be using to make the bottom part of this lid. So <clears throat> it just happens to fit this pot. So I'm just going to use this on this slab, pull it out. If you feel the need to use cornstarch or um, baby powder or whatever on that, have at it. I don't worry about it too much, unless I'm doing little things. If I'm using little cutouts, it's uh a little harder to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my my little cutout here and I'm going to try to, I'm gonna center it on the pot. Wow, looks like I did pretty well the first, first shot. Move it slightly there. Okay, a little bit more. And going for centering, but no one is going to admonish me if I'm a slight bit off, but I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to lift, sort of lift and push down with my thumbs at the same time. Because what I want to do is I'm pushing this down Giving it a little push down into the pot. I'm going to check again for being centered, and I can see I've got way more right here than I do on the other side. So it looks like I have to go a little over that way. Okay, and I think I'm looking good. And just going to again keep pressing and I'm going to be using my thumb a little bit to press down here in the middle. Now if you have a little pooch, some people make, you know, with a old sock and sand and you can just give it some pooching, we call that. It's a technical term, I think. Have at it. Um, I tried to make one of those and I don't know, it just kind of, it made a lot of, um, marks on my clay that I didn't like, so, okay. All right, so I got that pretty much on there. And you see, I've got it pressed down quite a bit there in the center. I'm gonna just take a little water on a sponge and smooth it around a little bit. Okay, now we had that nice galley inside and I want this to rest up against the galley also. So I'm just gonna Push inside here a little bit so we can make this lid nice and tight inside there. Give that a little, wee. see this is why we wanted the little bit of extra clay, a little bit on the thicker side. 
so we can stretch it in there. Okay, all right, so now I'm just gently going to push this down with my sponge. I'm getting all the goop off in the ends there. Okay. I'm trying to make it kind of pretty level. Okay, I see I didn't quite get in the galley over here. I'll make sure I do that. Okay, and I can, can mess with it when I take it off. Okay, so now what I want to do is um, I'm just going to, I have some little wear boards that I made, and I'm going to just put that on top, turn it upside down, and there we go. Okay, so that is the inside of our lid. Um, and I'm just going to use this opportunity to take some of the marks out of the that were made by the cutter. I always like to, you know, use my sponge to clean things up um, before anything, you know, before anything gets fired or, um, you know, too hard to deal with because, you know, it's really easy if you do it now. As long as you're gentle and Okay, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this this one aside uh, to firm up a little bit. And in the meantime, while I do that, I'm going to take another slab, which I already um, have, have measured onto the, um, the pot here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And you notice there's no fancy edges on this one because this is gonna be the top. Got it fitting right in there. Um, I probably shouldn't have pushed down on the, the lines as much as I did, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So, just same, same kind of deal. Pushing in. And um, we, don't, we don't care about the galley this time. Um, in fact, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to push into the galley. We're just, we're just getting a nice poofy shape here. And this I want to poof down as much as I can. Poof, 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 poof. Okay. I don't want to, you know, get too crazy with it because I don't want to um, I don't want to overstretch it and cause it to tear. And you might see that, you know, I got a little crazy there with measuring it, but that's okay, I can fix it up. Okay, now same thing. Just gonna put that, make that kind of flat. And put this on a wear board. Okay, and now, um, I don't want that galley line in there. Hmm. I'm going to take that off. And I'm just going to poof, poof, poof this up. Poof it up. Okay, um, so now I am going to take this here little coffee mug, which is about the same width. <laughs> it's actually exactly the same as my honey pot here. Um, and I'm going to just make another, just make a round slab or semi round something. Okay, so then I'm going to put that, put this on here. 
Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the honey pot. And I'm just gonna take this clay and kind of mush it down inside. I love making these, they're so much fun. <laughs> Okay, so you see I got it kind of pushed down in there a bit. And I'm just gonna bend this out. Mm, I think I even want it to be deeper. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go push it in a little more. There we go. Okay, now get in there, you. Do as I command. I like that the clay has to do what I tell it to. <laughs> so that can be an evil tyrant. Okay. to be even. Okay, and I'm gonna get another one of these. Ooh, there we go, we got a nice puff. Nice big puffy thang there. Okay, so we're gonna give that a little time to set up and then I will um, show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so um, now you can see that I have the little lid that we um, made earlier sitting on top here and here is the other little bubble piece that I made. Um, so now what we're gonna do is just uh, cut this I'm gonna give it a little extra room and I'm cutting it as much as I can uh, parallel to the um, the drywall here, the wear board. This is still a little wet, so I'm gonna go like this instead. And then I'll go back and trim it. This is still a little wet, but we'll give it a whirl anyway. I don't wanna let it get too dry. You see my knife is, it won't stay in. Stupid knife. Get in there. This one. I don't know what the issue is with this one. It doesn't cut very well either. Okay. All right. So you see, it's it's a little soft. That's okay. I'm just gonna turn it over like this and find my knife. I'm just gonna use the blade here, on top of it, just to kind of flatten that out a little bit. Okay. No big deal. All right, um, this is still pretty wet. This is pretty wet, so I'm not gonna worry about scoring. I'm just gonna put some slip on here. Okay, and then, oh, let's put some on here too. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, maybe I'll make some marks in here just for kicks and giggles to make sure. Get a good attachment. Okie dokie. 
All right, I'm gonna do some things to make sure this stays real well anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that around so that it touches all over the place. Okay. Just fitting this on here. Sometimes you just have to give it a little push here and there to make sure it goes on correctly. Okay, so you see it's not entirely even there and that's okay because I'm just gonna take a little slip. this to close it up. And uh, you can do whatever you want now to, um, to jazz this up a little bit, um, to neaten up this area where it joins together. Um, I am going to, let's see. I love that I have all these little mats here. So I think I'm gonna use this mat and just gonna make a little decoration to go around there. Love these rubber mats. I think um, I think this is a fondant map. Again, more stuff from the uh, cake decorating aisle. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I just need a rib. There we go. <sighs> Notice I said I need a rib. Here's my rib. Scraping this off of here. Make sure I get it nice and flat. And didn't go quite wide right there. Okay, so again. First thing I'm gonna do is pop this out of here. And this is pretty easy to do when I have some, uh, what do you call it? Baby powder in it. And I'm just gonna give it a little plop out of there. Whee! Okay, now I'm probably gonna need to make more. Ooh, it's like jewels, right? It's like jewels, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to make a few more. I think that's kind of too big, actually. Mm, no, no, we'll do that. We'll stay with it. We'll stay with plan A. Because what we'll do to even it out, um, you'll see, is how we just make a little uh, handle to lift up the lid. Okay, it's just... And of course, that was just slip I put there. Now it's got a beautiful little necklace. Okay, let's fill in that last piece there. Hmm. 
I think fewer than that, but I'm going to take out more just to be safe. I think we only need about four beads. We'll call them beads. Yep. There we go. And it's all nicely together. Ah, black slip on here. Grr. <sighs> Pay attention. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to use my brush here to smooth out the slip, close up the gaps up top here. You can see that. We'll close out those little gaps as much as possible. And I'll wipe that again as it dries. Okay. I'm going to give these a little brushing because they look a little dry after having the baby powder on them. Okay, and I'm seeing some cut marks there, so I'm going to smooth those also while I have my brush here. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much like watching paint dry. Okay, now this is a little soft um, still right now for me to put the, um, the handle on. So um, let's just take this off for a second, okay? No, no we're going to wait. We're just going to let the whole thing firm up a bit. And then I'm going to show you a super duper, super important, most important thing you need to do to this. Okay, so we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna put a little um, handle on the top here. I have a little wad of clay and I'm just gonna make it into a little tighter ball. And you can make whatever, whatever kind of little top or finial you want. Um, I just think I wanna have something round to go with this round design. So I'm just gonna start rolling this between my fingers like that, trying to keep it as even as I can, which is easier said than done. Okay, it's a nice little ball-y. Flatten it. Hmm, let's see what I think. I'll flatten it a little more. It's a little dried out there. Hmm. I think it's maybe slightly too high for it. Oh, this exacto knife. Somebody please send me a new exacto knife. I'll start a collection. Karen's exacto knife collection. I'd like this to be a little more graceful though. This little 
So I'm just pinching it around like that. I'm gonna wet it a little bit. It's getting a little cracked looking. We'll make it slightly longer than I want it because I think that's better. I think it was too tall before. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So we have that. Then I'm going to make some little holes here, a little scoring. Put a little slip on here. And I think I have it pretty much in the middle. Hope so. And then I'm going to put that in there on there. And I'm going to push on it a little bit because I wanted to indent my pot just a little. Just to give that shape a little, uh, I don't know. A little extra something, something. There we go. There. Now it looks like it's in a pillow or something. Oh, okay, and then I'm just gonna smooth that slip around here, make sure I have a seal there, make sure I'm upright. Okay, and there's that. Yes. See a close and personal again. Okay, now since it's a honey pot though, we need a place to be able to put the honey stick inside. So um, I'm going to take my trusty circle cutter here. Let me see. And I am going to angle it just like this because we're going to want the honey stick to be able to stand up kind of like that. Let me see. Maybe I think I'll go smaller before I go larger. Mm, that might be too small. Okay, we'll see. But all right, so I'm, I'm going to want my honey stick to go in here. So I'm just going to put this in here and turn it. And yes, I'm going right down into the pot and it's going to hit um, on the lip. Oh, nope, it didn't actually. We didn't even get through. All right, we got to get all the way through there. You see, see that? We have to get all the way through. So I'm at too much of an angle. So I'm going to angle it down more and just start turning. through. Okay, and you see it's a little messy there. That's okay. Because we're going to be cutting that anyway. So you see it did take a little chunk out of the, the, the galley rim here, and that's okay because that'll tell us where to um, line up the lid. Okay, so now you see we have this hole in the lid, all right, and we have our, our angle. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use this knife. It, I, this thing looks really sharp, but it's not, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Okay, and so I'm just gonna cut this out. Okay, just like that. Yep. Don't do that. Okay, so wow, that's really thick in there. Who knew? So I'm going to cut all this thick stuff away. Okay. 
Okay. No idea how that got so thick. That was like a quarter inch slab. Hmm. How did that happen? Okay, so obviously this is all still pretty soft here. So um, we're just gonna put it aside, let it sit for a bit, and go back and trim it up all nice and neat. Okay. So there you go. I have something where your honey stick will be able to go in. I don't have a honey stick here, but uh, this chopstick is almost as thick as a honey stick. And so we see it'll have lots of room there to stand up inside the pot. Yay! Okay. I'll clean this up and then um, we'll finish up. See you in a few minutes. Bye! Okay, so... Um, you may have ascertained at this point that um, my little honey pots um, doing Mishima, it's um, not necessarily the Mishima, but the whole project is uh, rather labor intensive. But um, I'm so happy with the final result when these are all done um, that it's well worth the work to me. See, there's a little nugi on there. So, um, so you see we cleaned this up where the um, honey stick will go in. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's all ready to go. We'll just let that dry and um, bisque fire that when it's ready to go in. Now, um, here is another little pot that I made that I intended to be a honey pot. But a lot of times, you know, when I'm making something, I just I just go with the flow, you know, um, especially like with these lids, I don't make any, um, you know, pre-plans about what it's going to look like. So I just play around and have fun. So with what I came up with here, I decided that I really don't think I want to cut this to be a honey pot. Um, I think I like it just as a jar. I don't want to interrupt these pretty flowers at the top there. Um, so I think this is just going to be a jar. And so I want to show you one very, very important thing that you must do if you're going to make this kind of lid and you're not going to, you know, cut it to be a jar or whatever. Um, just like any other closed form that you might make, you absolutely must make an escape hole somewhere in there. Make sure you go all the way through because that air that is trapped inside of that clay, that's what's gonna make your top go boom, boom in the kiln if it doesn't have anywhere to go. Um, and we don't like that. We cry, we cry when we open up a kiln and find that things have exploded. So I don't want anyone to cry, okay? So just needs just a little one, that's all you need. And that will be just fine. That should survive the kiln just fine and dandy. So uh, tune back in when it's glazing time. Um, actually, uh, on these, I'm going to use some underglaze that I made. Um, these are going to have um, a very bold kind of graphic look to them. And, um, and then I'll be doing the watercolor on these. So uh, maybe I'll pick it up from there. How about that? I will, I'll pick it up from there and I'll show you how this, the glaze process on this one, okay? Okay, thanks for hanging out with me in the studio. Um, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments down below or um, any thoughts or ideas. I'm always happy to hear from you. And um, I think it's martini time. It's dark out. Okay, have a great one. Bye-bye.